Hey guys, welcome to Trimmer Trails. Today we're gonna to do another installment in our Trimmer Talk series. We're usually in four minutes or less. We just get to the point about something. Today we're gonna to go a little bit over because today's topic is gonna to be the four by four modes on the Ford Trimmer. We have a lot of new guys that are starting to ask some questions. Either they haven't got their truck yet or they just got their truck. So we're gonna dive all into the modes and what modes you should be using out there on the trails. Let's go talk about it. Start the clock. So what a lot of you guys may not know is that a lot of technology went into actually Ford's design with the four high and four low modes on the trimmers and all their new stuff that's coming out with the Broncos as well. What they're actually doing is on certain modes, they're tightening up steering. They're changing all the shift points in the transmission to give you more throttle, less throttle response. They're also changing certain driveline aspects. The computer pretty much takes care of everything on the truck depending on what mode you're in. So let's jump into the truck real quick and let's dive through the modes. So you get to your modes on the turn dial. As you can see on my turn dial, I have a 402. I'm gonna have four auto. If you have a 400 or a 401, you're not gonna have four auto. Essentially four auto, you can use it on any surface, any time, at any speed. What it's really great for is the guys that are up north that are always driving in snow and ice. What it does is it applies power to a tire if it gets too loose on a surface. The first mode that the truck always defaults to as soon as you turn it off or turn it back on is normal. Normal is your everyday drive pretty self-explanatory. From normal, you have Eco. Eco is a really great mode for highway or even in town. What they've done is they have adjusted throttle response so that if you kind of have a lead foot, it doesn't engage quite as fast. Tow and haul is pretty cool as well. What tow and haul does is they've actually tuned the steering some to tighten up the steering. They've changed the shift points and the drive line, giving you more torque, yet more stability with it and different throttle response. On sport mode, sport mode is fun. I've only used it a couple times. So what they have done is they've changed the transmission shift points to the highest setting so that you're getting constant acceleration through each of the gears. Now moving on the modes that I care the most about, of course the 4x4 modes. Slippery is going to be a mode that you want to use when you're on ice, if you got to get out to the store for some reason, or if there's an extremely light coating on asphalt or something where it's just super, super slippery. What they have done is they have lessened the throttle response and the shift points in the transmission. Of course the computer is also working all the tires, making sure that power is distributed evenly to those. Now when I first got in my truck, I used snow and sand all the time on off-road trails. I thought that that's what I was to be using because I was driving on gravel and kind of sandy surfaces. What I found out is that actually snow and sand is used for deep snow or deep sand to get you unstuck. What they have done is they have increased the torque, yet they've also fixed the throttle response so that the vehicle is going to continue to move and get you out of one of those situations. That leads us over to mud and ruts. Now mud and ruts is the default setting for off-road. It's meant to be used for when you're doing kind of ruts or any kind of unlevel ground. This is the mode that you want to use the most when you're on trails. What they've done with this is they've changed throttle response so that you're not throwing up rocks but you're able to have enough torque to get you in and out of harder terrain. So remember default setting use this one the most. And then that leads us into rock crawl. This is my favorite mode anytime I'm going down a mountain. Use that mode more than using a four high. What you're going to notice is that even in the mud and ruts you're going to be on your brake constantly trying to get down a mountain pass. Just switch yourself into four low and let the truck work for you. I think they did such a good job tuning the transmission to get you down steep embankments or even up embankments. You just have tons of grip, tons of torque, yet at the same time, your shifting points are so low that it's easy to get off of a mountain. When I was in there, I noticed a couple things that I haven't talked about and I'll talk about them real fast. I usually use this thing which goes over the side of the dashboard and it always got in my way and personally, I hated it. I found in the Jeep forums that a lot of people are using this little car mount thing. I'll put a link down below. Just in case you're looking for a product to use for your phone for a car mount, this thing is pretty awesome. It uses a magnet. It takes up very, very little space. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I just wanted to pass on the information. I love it. I've had it on super hard trails and the phone has never fallen off. So there's that. The other thing is I was diving out of the truck is I have my last fit floor mats. These floor mats are pretty cool. If you're in the market for a floor mat, but you don't want to go with the WeatherTech or another brand, try these guys out as well. They're all laser fitted. They cover up the whole bottom. Lifetime warranty on them. I think it's like a 
90 day try warranty as well. High quality stuff, doesn't get brittle, super easy to clean. I found these when I was looking for a solution. And after me buying them, LastFit actually reached out to me seeing about the channel. Hey, if any of your subscribers are interested, we'll give you a 10% discount. So for this month, I know it's kind of late into the month, but if you are looking for floor mats, it's something that could interest you. You can use my code down below and get 10% off. It's also free shipping. I highly recommend the floor mats. I think they're a great fit. They're easy to clean off. I know they're dirty at the moment. Anyway, so that's last fit. Now let's talk about lockers really, really fast. You have a push button right in the middle of the dial that turns on and off your locker. Now your locker will disengage over 25 miles per hour and sit in a waiting mode until you slow back down, then it'll re-engage. I run my lockers probably 50% of the time just because they automatically turn on. The only time I don't really ever run my locker is when I'm on a tight shelf road or in a really tight trail because what's happening is obviously both of your tires are spinning the same rate to give you more grip, and so your turning radius is extremely affected by that. Remember guys, that your default mode for trails is gonna be mud and ruts. Snow and sand is to be used in the deeper stuff. Always use your four low rock crawl when you're doing obviously large obstacles with a lot of torque that you're gonna need, and when you're going down mountain passes. Slippery is to be used on ice and stuff of that sort, and of course your normal four high modes. I hope this helped you guys out. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, hit me up down below. If you haven't subscribed yet and you want to see more stuff like this, including our trail reviews, please give us a subscribe. I hate asking for it. It's just the way the algorithm works for YouTube, and we're trying to get more people interested in the Ford Trimmer platform and in full-size off-road trails. Until next time, guys, we hope to see you out there on the trails. Bye.